What's up, people? This is episode 29, and uh, let's get Maddox. Okay, so right here we've got a little bit of a station that you guys won't have seen yet. Now, it's actually been about a week since I recorded a, uh, a Let's Play episode, and I've actually done a lot. Um, I, I did a bit of texture pack work last night. I changed the uh, grass gradients back to the, not a default, but it's, I don't know, I can't seem to get it right. So it's a little bit weird. Um, I apologize for that if it's not spot on, but I worked with um, sandstone and uh, fiddled around with cobblestone a little bit. But um, on the map right here, you can see I'm facing the construction project in the middle of the lake. That's the first thing I want to show you guys, because this episode is going to be based on uh, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news is... Uh, well, first of all, I've built this little... Uh, contraption thing here. This is where I've gotten all the uh, stone for it, and it goes right past the uh, the minecart ride, so that was a bit inconvenient, but it looks kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is the mine where I've gotten all the stone from. Um, I've got a lot of bricks and everything. Uh, found heaps of diamonds down there. Some of that is actually from the sandbox. A um, lot more stone. Blaze rods in sets of 12, because it takes 12 blaze rods. No, wait. It takes... Oh, shit. I need to divide those again. Yeah, it takes six blaze rods to do one stack of stone. Um, got all this random crap. Sorry for the, uh, I guess, inorganization. Ah, six diamond pickaxes. Seven, eight. Um, efficiency unbreaking. Yeah, that's, that's the bad news. I'll get to that in a second. But this is the good news. As you can see, I'm walking up into this, uh, this new, new building and I'm liking it. Uh, I've got a glowing tree in the center, and my very own compass tell me which direction I'm facing. Um, obviously, it's going to be spruced up quite a bit uh, in the final product. This is just some designs I did last week. Uh, poured water over the top from a hole in the roof, and um, it comes down through and it flows down into the floor below. Now, I don't actually have a way to get down there just yet, but um, also we've got this... Uh, clover of lava I guess. I just poured it randomly into each four corners and it made this pattern so there you go it just kind of looks like a clover but um or a windmill I don't know or a flower of some kind I really don't know. Anyways we've got uh it's really hard to see from in here but believe me it's much better with this texture pack rather than the original grass. Um, I haven't done anything out here but I'll see if I can Oh yeah, because I can get to the top from here. So I'll just drop down. Oh yeah. And I think I might... Oh shit. Oh, forgot about that. Uh, with the texture pack, I was testing something to like make the monsters a little bit more scarier. Like if they were actually from the shadows themselves. And uh, hang on, I think I have my sound. Oh yeah, that's way too loud. Let me just fix that. Um, yeah. Just turn it shit balls. Damn, that was horrible. That was... Horribly put together. I think I just lost a workbench as well. God damn it. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was... I just realised that was where I land my boat. Fuck's sake. Oh no, I did pick it up. Cool. Um, I'll just put it there for now. Uh, yeah, I did a bit of texture pack working to make the mobs a little bit more difficult to see. Um, so they're completely black. They're like Endermen now. Um, yeah, it makes mobs a lot difficult to see at night time and in caves. Which, in my opinion, is a little bit more fun. You know, you don't see what's coming for you. Oh shit, like that. Gave okay, skeletons, um... You are fucked, buddy. Damn. You just got raped by gravity. Um, but yeah, this is... The thing. I still don't know what to call it. I'm not sure. Um, I had a couple of design names that I wanted to come up with. I wanted to stick to, at first, the... Um, where is he? Let's put a torch here. Um, yeah, I wanted to call it the S something box. I was thinking maybe the sky box, but it's not really a box. So shut the fuck up, zombie. My God. Where the hell did he come from? See, this is what makes it fun. I can't switch to my sword, damn it. I can't see them. Damn. Oh, he's down there. You're a terrible shot and you should feel terrible. Ah, uh, you died by gravity anyway. I'm just going to come up here. Yeah, that's what it looks like, and it's going well. The reason it's not complete yet is because I actually have a bit of an idea for, um, kind of like a design thingy-majiggy that I want to do. Wow, fuck off, skeleton, bro. 
Yeah, he's a bad shot anyway. We'll just walk to um, the safety. Anyways, uh, I wanted to get Silk Touch on a pickaxe. Now, this is the bad news. Wait, did I say the good news? Yeah, I guess that was the good news. The good news is I've done a lot of progress on the uh, Sky thing in the Jiggy. The bad news is I don't have a Silk Touch pickaxe. Now, and I actually need a Silk Touch pickaxe to complete the project because I want to move grass up into the top of it, uh, up into one of, like, the four corners. And uh, I want to have grass up there. I could do that with a piston, but that would take a long time. And um, I'm not sure which is... Oh, I'm in the mine shaft right now. But, um, yeah, I'll show you that later on. But I've also got more good news as well. And um, I've told my good friend Andrew about this already. Um, shout out to Andrew. He's been wanting a shout out ever since, like, two years ago. There you go, buddy. Um, but I told him last night, gave him a little bit of insight um, about this episode. I actually found something very, very, very rare and important. Um, much rarer than diamonds, and it's actually not here, so I'll take this just to show you. Just drop down the mine shaft here. Now, this is actually like an underground network now. You can find your way around by using these tunnels. It takes a while, but sandbox is back that way where I just came from. Arbitrary mining, that's like for diamonds and stuff. Because currently we're at level 10, which is uh, optimum for... Uh, whoops, that's not meat. Optimum for diamond mining, yeah. And, um, actually I should use that bread up. Yeah, okay, um, can't remember what I was going to say. I'm too excited. Damn. Uh, I haven't actually found this particular thing yet, but I hear something that can only indicate that it does exist. It probably doesn't make much sense now. Uh, random K is the sandbox. So up here is the mine shaft, I believe. Yes, this is the bottom of the mine shaft. Um, right now, can't remember where I went. Fuck. Oh, it's over by the snow box. Yeah, okay. So this is just the basic um, mine shaft design with the staircase around the edge with four pillars, just for aesthetics. Um, quick way down. It's got two water breaks. The first water break is uh, covering the entire level, as you can see with the water. It spreads over the course of all these support signs. So when I drop down from the above levels, I can just drop anywhere into the pool without taking any damage. And um, the one water break down there is actually a bit difficult to hit than it looks. Um, it's in the best position, but no matter how hard I try, I always manage to um, hit the stair just before the water break. In fact, I died mere moments before I started this recording. So, um, And yes, this, this is quite a dizzy, dizzy staircase. Um, Right, I've got a bed in here with the looking out into the darkness. But yeah, it's basically, long story short, it's incomplete. Um, and it makes me un... It, it just makes me unhappy that it's incomplete because this is where I'm going to put the grass in these four quadrants um, on this level here. It's going to span out, so it's going to be like a nice green, uh, lively area. And oh my god, there is a spider just... Just die, buddy. Yeah, I didn't actually test this, because remember I built this in Peaceful, majoritively. So I'm not sure if uh, mobs like to spawn or something or other. But, um, yeah, we've got a nice lookout on either side. You can sort of see the tree farm through there. Um, but yeah, now onto the other good news. Just while I was on my way up the sandbox mineshaft, um, this came to mind. Uh, before we get to the good news, I have something to show you over by the... Uh, the swamp box, yeah, funnily enough, um, over by the snow box. So you guys know where I was uh, doing most of... There's a spider on my roof again! Man, spiders are like glass, all right. Uh, yeah, I didn't change the top of sandstone, I just made the sides the same as the top to see what it would look like. Looks kind of weird, but oh, I don't have... Just make one. Whoops. Come on. So yeah, all the sides are just the same. I thought it would look cool in, um, you know, walls and stuff. Still haven't finished the quick kit, but that's for another day, right? Um, I'm not sure what else I've changed with the texture pack, really. Um, I've changed the uh, enchantment table to be gold on the edges. But, um, and I don't think I... 
Oops. Now that I think about it, I don't think I showed you guys the pickaxes in the chest up in the mountain area. Well, I'll have to do that later on, but, um... What the fuck's my minecart? It's probably up the other end. Well, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a tick once I'm over there. Alright, so you guys will remember the, uh, the swamp over in this direction that I've been to a couple of times. I actually made a, uh, a spider XP system down there. It's not the best. Um, just a forewarning, it's absolutely fucking useless. It's a, it's just a mess of redstone, as Doc M likes to say. Um, it, it looks horrible, it's, yeah, it's, and I'm glitching, for God's sake. Fix your game, Jeb. But, um... I made this bridge of lily pads to get there quicker. Very awesome. It took a long time to get them because <laughs> I had to individually swim out to each one and punch them and bring them back and put them in a line. It's all good though. Nice easy way to get there without swimming. Constructed a shelter for it. I've actually got a um, water break at the bottom so I can just drop, hopefully. Yep, cool. Um, yeah, you'll hear them right now. So, I've set it up. There's, there were, remember there were three spawners. There's one on the other side of this wall. There's one over there, just a little bit. And there's one in that, this box area right here. So the, douchebag. So, to, um, I can basically make them all active by standing on this wooden block. So that one's working, that one's working, and that one's working over there. Now, this is the same as the, uh, the, uh, the blaze, not the blaze, the, um, the other mob system that I had over at the snowbox, where I crushed them for 19 hit points, it, it was too much redstone for me to continue, it, it, it's not really effective, I just thought I'd like to show you, cause it's, you know, it's like, whatever. So it crushes them for 19 hits, this is, it's really ineffective, barely works at all. Punch them, you know, get spider eyes, string, whatever, and then you can come down here, like you can punch the other ones as well. And you can come up here and collect your items from each one. Um, you come back to the top. And then the, the water streams will stop down below with pistons. See, there's no water coming through. So you can reset this one by pushing this button. Water continues to flow. And you can reset this one like that. It's, yeah, I, I don't like it. I just wanted to see if I could build one. And it's actually harder than it looks. It's really difficult. Uh, put those in there. Uh, this is a stair, so you can open the chest. And if I can break through right here, I'll show you the... I hear a zombie somewhere. Probably in one of the spawner rooms, wouldn't be surprised. But, um, this is the mess of redstone. Uh, it's really difficult to explain, haven't done it in a long time, but basically this is the crusher. For 19 hits, it comes up. It does... Uh, I did this differently to... I did this similar to Etho's, um blaze farm rather than the wow shut the hell up what am i doing god there we go um i did it similar to the blaze farm rather than the um mm, snowbox mob system because the snowbox mob system used a piston to push a block back and forth this just uses a uh, an and gate no an rs nor latch derp so yeah it's either on infinitely or off infinitely no, that's not a good way to say it. Anyway, point is, just lasts for 19 hits, does that, yada yada yada. It goes through, it powers all these different things. It's just, ugh, it's a mess. And it's disgusting and I hate it. And it's not a good way of income. I think I left, no I didn't. I thought I left a uh, diamond pickaxe here somewhere. But anyways, this is not why I'm here. I'm here to show you, or will let you listen to something that... It, it's usually a very, very good thing. Now, I think I can remember the way it was... Oh, yeah. Gravel staircase. And then... Spawner. Yep. Okay. This... Enderman randomly. This is amazing luck. Now, I don't have the best luck. I'm not the luckiest guy in the world. I'm not the most unlucky guy in the world. I do have luck. I do have strokes of luck. This is amazing. I was mining here for diamonds, right? Because over at the uh, the sandbox and the giant structure thing, all the mining under there is coming to an end, pretty much. I've got a lot of different tunnels there, and it's... I don't know, I wanted to try somewhere new, because, you know, 
new area, lots more chances for diamond and stuff. So I was coming along, and I heard mobs above me. Oh god, I remember this. I did it like two days ago, and I, I haven't actually recorded since, like I haven't recorded any of this yet, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, I came to this cave system and it was a bit too dark, didn't have that many torches. But I noticed it went up this way, right? So I come up here. Now, listen carefully. Oh. <laughs> it would help if I had sound on. Hear that? <gasps> um... Yeah, okay, that would have literally made me shit my pants if that blew up. Um, but listen. Hang on, sorry. I'm not used to this. That is a silverfish. Oh, the creeper... <gasps> yep, yeah, I was right. Okay. So, silverfish only spawn in... Uh, Strongholds, and strongholds are extremely rare. They're three per world, I think, and they are a long distance from the thing. And I knew it would be a stronghold, and I actually found one. And that creeper just blew it up and confirmed it. Because I would have been digging around for ages to find this thing. I only heard it. And I came up here, it could have been over there, it could have been there, it could have been anywhere. But it was right above me the entire time. Oh shit. Oh fuck. They're falling from the sky. Alright. This is the first stronghold I've ever found. Okay. Oh, shit. Guys, fuck off. Damn. I don't remember, is there like... I think I've seen Etho's Let's Play where he found a uh, stronghold. But he used Ender Eyes. <gasps> Fucking hell, man! Where are these creepers coming from? Uh... Right, I guess, uh, torches? I, do, I really don't know what to do here. I haven't come across a silverfish spawner naturally before. An enderman. Do endermen just spawn in here, or what the hell? Okay, I'm sorry, this is really, really weird. I'm not... I don't know what all this is about. Shit. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Jeez. This is... There are so many skeletons. What? Well, it doesn't matter, because I have, like... <gasps> yeah, boy. Alright, this is... Oh, damn. Dangerous. Apparently. This is exactly what I wanted to find. One of these things. What are they called? Libraries? Ugh, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. That is kind of spooky that there is an Enderman in the library and I don't know where he is. Anyways, uh, yeah. This is very, very good because I get to set up more than one... Um, what's it called? Enchantment table area, I guess. Bookshelves for days. Holy shit. Damn. I was going to set up a reed farm as well at the, um... What's it called? But I don't even need to anymore. At the massive construction thing. But I don't even need to set one up anymore. Does it... Okay. What's up here? See, I've never been in a stronghold. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's... Oh, man. Oh, chest. More books. Yeah, okay, whatever, I guess. So this is nice. I like it. Wait, does this break? Yeah. So it's technically made of wood. Could probably save time by using my pickaxe, but... I'm just going to take as many as possible. Ah, I lost them. I hear more skeletons. Put that there. I was just amazed that I heard silverfish, because, I mean, silverfish, like, really? I I honestly didn't expect it, and I'm sorry, I'm just like, 
I want to adventure. I don't really want to commentate at the moment because it's like there was a mushroom growing on a bookshelf. Wow. That's some amazing stuff right there. Um, now, apparently there's a chest in libraries. Like, not on the top floor, but like on a bookshelf. I think I heard somewhere. Uh, but I don't know if this has one. Not sure. Oh, man. Oh, and um, I guess while I'm clearing out this room, I can show you a little bit more good news. I've been working on a custom map recently um, with uh, MC Edit and uh, Too Many Items and Zombies Mod and stuff like that. I don't have them installed at the moment. Uh, nothing at all. Can't fly, can't do nothing. Oh, I nearly did. I thought I could fly then. It was just a cobweb. Um, but yeah, I've been working on them. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit of a clip uh, right now. So a little bit more work is needed for that, to uh, get that up and running. And uh, it's a work in progress, obviously. And uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, the armor bar down there changed. Now the reason it changed is because I actually just got back from um, a massive, pretty much one day break. Oh, okay, I just did a loop. Um, yeah, a friend came over yesterday, so I didn't end up recording after I took that clip. Um, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm a bit, a bit different right now. I can't really think. I'm just jumping back into it. I've done a bit of work on the texture pack. Um, I've changed, you know, armor schemes. And uh, you'll see my face has actually changed from a blaze to an enderman. What happened was I had a uh, face reconstruction, got my face back, and then I went to collect some uh, some ender pearls and uh, didn't go according to plan. Ooh, sweet. And uh, yeah, I changed the texture pack for diamond sword, um, gold armor, and diamond armor. And uh, I actually have a bit of a, a bit of a surprise back at the. Uh, well, I'm I'm not going to say anything because I'll gravely disappoint you when uh, I don't show you it because I'm going to be saving it for a later episode. Two bread, sure, why not? Collected some more bread. I'm not sure what I did in that meantime. I think I was just fiddling around with textures and uh, trying to get different ones to look right and all that sort of stuff. Wow, what are the chances of randomly selecting a block and then punching it and it's a silverfish? Right, okay. So, I still don't know anything about this stronghold. I'm not sure if there's going to be another ender portal. Maybe, ooh, there's gold. That's what gold looks like, by the way, if you haven't seen it with the texture pack. It sort of like drips down. Um, I, I'm not the most artistic person in the world. I mean, I like to draw, and I like animation and that sort of thing, but, I mean, I'm not like a fucking Pixar wizard or anything like that. I just, you know. And, I mean, texture packing is pretty cool. I mean, customizing Minecraft in your own little way. And these doors are really fucking annoying, bro. So, oh, sweet. Okay. Um, that's exactly what I'm after. Ender pearls. Um, yeah, I was, I was going for them before. Going for quite a few ender pearls, and um, yeah, my face pretty much got raped by endermen, so not exactly the uh, most ideal way to go about getting ender pearls, and how the hell do I get through here if there's no button? That's how. An efficiency pickaxe. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, like I said, I haven't actually recorded in uh, a couple of days, so I'm not sure if the microphone's going to be a bit weird, a bit out of whack. Um, fuck's sake. Oh, and I've actually got a mod installed right now. It's... Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've got a mod installed. It's called the uh, the Water Shader. Very, very popular, very common. Um, and what it does is it just makes Minecraft water look 50 fucking times better. And you know what? Fuck buttons. Get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, it, it just makes water look a lot better. And, um, you know, it gives it a bit of a shimmer. Makes it see-through. Just makes it basically look like real water. And, uh... It actually came with, uh... Probably pinch these chests while I'm here. Um... Yes, I did just go to open that with my fist. Um... But yeah, it makes it look... God, I was gonna say something. Oh, it came with, um, anti-aliasing. 
which if you don't know what that is, it basically means uh, in Minecraft, you probably won't be able to see this. I'll try and render this video in 720p because at the rate I'm currently uploading videos, it's a bit slow um, because, you know, I like to have breaks here and there. But, um, wow, deja vu. But, um, yeah, I might render in 720p. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. You probably won't be able to, but um, basically Minecraft doesn't have anti-aliasing, which is the... Um, softness of edges I suppose. It's It's got very sharp edges. You can especially see it in uh, the inventory against the arms. You can see the pixels um, and where they cut off and everything. Uh, Anti-aliasing anti uh, smoothens that. Smoothens? Smooths. S smooths? Smoo smootherins. Slytherins. There we go. Uh, but yeah, this is the water mod example right here. It, it's not very um, evident with a little bit of water. You need a, you know, a lake or an ocean to get the full effect of it, but I like it, it's nice, and the stronghold ends here, so I've got to head back now, fuck, I'm probably not even going to be able to find, you know, how I got down here, but, um, uh, shit, yeah, I, I think I should be good, but, yeah, I haven't come across many mobs in here, I don't, I, I don't know, I've also got to save that, um, uh, what's it called, end portal, I guess? I've got to save the end portal for, like, I have to remember where it is, because that's the most important thing in this uh, area, to be honest. And, um, yeah, it's actually quite good that I ran into that first, rather than finding the stronghold and then, you know, not being able to uh, find the room that it is situated in, because that would kind of suck. God, this is just... This is the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. It's the same thing we look at every day, Pinky. I mean, come on now, Stronghold. Come on. Empty chest. Yoink. But, uh... Yeah, I guess you guys probably want to hear about that custom map, maybe. Nah, nah, you guys won't care. You guys won't care about that. It's just a... It's just a little... Oh my. Oh my. That was... That was dangerous. But, uh... Oh my, oh, spooky. Let's just take care of this guy with our Sharpness 3 sword. I'm not sure if you guys saw that Sharpness 3 sword, I think. I'm pretty sure you did. Um, Alright, so this is where I entered, okay. So I guess, you know, can we adventure out this way? Looks like it goes up, looks like this is supposed to, yeah, this is meant to be a staircase of some kind. So can I actually go get to it from around here? Yes, I do believe I can. If a creeper falls on my head, I'm going to be most... Well, I say that too much, but I'm going to be most upset. So, Deja vu again. Damn. You know, I could probably take a lot of these bricks as well, because... that Oop, silverfish. Clever. Um, thanks, Nightmare Realm. Now I actually know what I'm up against. I am confused. There's water above this. Oh god. Creeper. Oh god. Sorry, I, I know I went silent for a second. I'm trying to, like, work out what the hell's going on. So this is not part of the stronghold, obviously. Um, imagine how lucky you would be if you were just in a cave and you came across that coloured stone. That would be amazing. Come on. Oh yeah, and at first I was kind of disappointed with the sharpness 3. Well, I wasn't disappointed, I was just, like, expectant of more. Um, but I'm actually very happy with it. It's like the old-school diamond sword, how everything dies in pretty much two hits. And I say pretty much because it's not uh, directly two hits, but... Oh, this knocked all my shit off the walls, didn't it? Dag it! Alright, whatever. I think I'm gonna... I'm not sure if there's gonna be, like, more rooms, or... Because I, I really don't know how to navigate this place. I'm not... I'm not an MLG at exploration in Minecraft, I must say. Oh yeah, there's plenty of ways to go, shit. Still. Um, whoops. These... Okay. Surely by the end of this I'm going to be so skilled at going through doors, um, you won't even recognize me. you just be like, oh yeah, that Maddox guy, he's that guy that goes through doors, like, with buttons, he doesn't even care. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, there's a chest. Let's hide in the corner. Get some of this back up and running. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, right. I was going to say something about the custom map before, and I kind of just trailed away from it. Um, it's going to be based on Vex's uh, complete monument. It's going to be my own type of monument, obviously. Um, it's I've divided it into three sectors. Sectors? No, that's not. Segments. No, not segments. Stages. Levels? I don't know. It's uh, It's got easy, intermediate, and hard mode, basically. Uh, for different coloured wool, you collect them in, uh, you know, dungeons, parkour runs, stuff like that. So it's got some variety in the map. It's not all combat and everything, and I've already been through here. And I promise you that I will not put any of these fucking iron doors with buttons in them, because this is just torture. And, um... See, I'm not sure if I've been everywhere. Like, I'm not... I can't... There's no, f there's no way for me to tell. But, um... I think I've pretty much explored this entire thing. And if I ever need... Uh, this stone, I can just come here because, quite frankly, it is the easiest way to get the stuff. Because I originally used, um, ooh, I originally used silk touch on regular stone and then turned it into this. And uh, yeah, that was all well and good, but I ran out of silk touch pickaxes, this is so not the best, um, most ideal way to do this. You do not want to push me in there, son. You do not want to push me in there. So if I kill this guy. Oh, he's a one-hit kill with a sharpness three. That is, that is amazing. Okay, that's good because silverfish like to spawn by the buttfuck loads, and if you get raped by a silverfish, there's really nothing you can do except walk away and hope that you don't get killed. So, how many ender eyes or eye of ender, whatever they're called, do I need to complete this thing? Um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need ten more. I think I've got something like six, six or seven, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to head back up to the surface right now. I've got to be careful of creepers. And skeletons! No oh god. No oh god. Run. Oh my. Oh yeah, and it was... I think there's a bit of a frame rate drop. Well, I can't really tell now because I'm recording in 30 frame rate. But uh, when I'm not recording, it's around 40, 50. So, anti-aliasing does tax on the computer itself, even though it's, you know, beast. Um, but... The water shader itself. Water shader. I'm pretty sure I just called it a water shader. The fuck, man. Anyway, um, yeah, the water shader itself is uh, pretty taxing. It's, I mean, I'm not, there's no even water, like, rendered on screen, but it's above me, because remember, I'm below the swamp here. And uh, let's get rid of this, because I realize I don't really need it here, do I? Because I'm not using it for anything. And if a spider spawns and kills me right here, I'm, that's just embarrassing. But, uh,. Yeah, and remember this texture pack is extremely experimental, so you know, the cobblestone especially I can't seem to get right. It just doesn't look, you know, like cobblestone. I don't know. It. I'm trying to go for like rounded brick, but like I said, I'm not the most artistic wizard there is, so. And I am climbing up these stairs the most retarded way I've ever even just imagined. Um, but yeah, this is what the uh, what it looks like. It's the mod itself is a little bit buggy, but I mean, so is every other mod pretty much. Um, looks really nice, especially for uh, mountainous regions. Looks pretty boss. And I've changed the uh, armor thing down the bottom there, the squares, which was the first thing you probably noticed after that clip. Um, I was going to change the hearts to red squares and offset them a little bit. So it's wow, fuck off, dude. It's just like casually chasing me. Oh wait, he's a bad guy. That's what he's meant to do. Ugh. Anyways. I was going to change quite a few things. I changed the pumpkins to be creeper faces. Oh, and you guys are going to see this. It's kind of cool. It's just, uh, like this. Gim. <laughs> Through the eyes of a creeper. It's a little bit squashed. Um, it took a while, and the, the quality is, albeit very, very odd. Because um, originally it was really stretched. Oh, where am I? There we go. Originally the quality was a little bit stretched, so, um... I mean, the image, like it would uh, go out from left to right and it just looked really weird, so I eventually uh, fiddled around with it in Photoshop for a while and uh, did that, but yeah, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Changed chests a little bit, uh, added the corners, I think it looks nicer. They were originally like bright gold and it just looked really fucking weird. Changed breads to bounce. <laughs> wow, I did it again. I changed breads to bound, apparently. Hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Ice looks weird with this, uh, 
mod. I'm not sure. Go away, dude. Come at me, bro. Wow, I actually shot him. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, yeah, uh, diamond stuff I changed to be, like, really, really dark and awesome. Um, and the diamond armor looks incredible. Uh, it was the first armor set that I actually worked on for this texture pack. Um, the iron and gold were actually uh, armor sets that I made in an older texture pack. Um, and I don't know why I'm taking this. I guess just nostalgia reasons and, you know, looking for water and stuff. Um, but yeah, iron and gold, like this is actually... Let's just fix my legs. It's actually from an older texture pack I did, but I never really used it. I deleted it now. Um, and, but I thought it looked kind of cool, looked very rusted. Um, decided to use that for it instead. So, there you go.